Hey, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen how to create a fire simulation. Now in this video, we are going to see how to add a sparks to the fire. So previously we have created this uh, set of nodes. So we will use the same source to create the particles here. So just we will use this mountain as a source to create the particles. So here I will take an pop network. So select this and just we need to connect from this mountain. And now if you enable this and if you click on this play, so now you can see it is generating the particles over the source here. And now we will add a point velocity to these particles. So the particles has to go to the y direction. So just I will take an point velocity and just connect in between this mountain and pop net. And also here we will select the initialization to value. And now here in the y direction, we will put it to like one or something. And now you see if you uh, select this thing and if you visualize this, like if I select this V and now see the particles are going into the straight direction, we want the random velocity. So in the point velocity, if I go to this curl noise and we have to enable this curl noise so that now see the particles will go in the random direction. And also here we can adjust the scale. Uh, so if you enable this point velocity, so if you select this point velocity and you can use this scale and also we can use this fill size. And now we'll disable this. So select this and just will disable this. And now we'll see how it will simulate. So just enable this pop network and just will click on play. So see now the particles are going in the random direction towards the Y axis. So now we can control the particles here. So in order to control that, we need to go inside this pop network. And here you can see if you select this source first input, and you can see there are some uh, birth rate options. So we can control the particles by using this option. So now the particles are generating constantly. So if you see there is an one option like constant activation. So the particles will generate continuously. What the thing is I want to generate the particles only for a few frames, like one, two, four frames or something. And later it has to disappear. So we need to write a expression here. So here uh, just I will type dollar $f less than four. So what it means like uh, if the timeline goes after the five frames, the particles will not be generated. So the particles will generate only within the four frames here. And now if you come down here, you can see there is a life expectancy. So the particles are going to stay for 100 frames. We don't want that many frames to be stay. So just we will put it to like one or something and also life variance one to two. Like let's say I will put it to like two or something. So now the particles will stay only for like two frames or something. So just we'll go back and now we will see this. So see now the particles has been uh, gone after like two or three frames here. And now if you want to add the speed for these particles, uh, just we'll go inside this pop network and if you select this source and if you come here to the attributes tab, and here you can see the inherit velocity velocity. So just we can put it to like uh, three or something. So just we'll add a more speed to the particles. So if you go back and now if you click on this play, so now see we got more velocity in the particles. So now the particles are not looking like a sparks here. So we need to convert into like spark kind of shape, like uh, some kind of lines. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called particle trial node. So select this and we need to connect here and just enable this. And now if you click on this play, so see now we got actual shape of this parts here. We got this nice lines like trails here. So now we can add the colors to this particle. So if you select this particle trail and if you come down, you can see there is an like color and we want some gradient kind of color. So here you can select this. So now it has been set to white, so uniform. So instead of that, we can use this ramp so that we will get the gradient color. And also here, the gay icon, we can select some like black to orange so that we will get the black color to the orange color here. So now if you click on this play, so we got this uh, orange color particles. And also if you want to increase the intensity here, you can see there is an option like intensity in the particle tray. So just you can increase the intensity of the particles. So let's say I will put up to like three or something. And also like if you go to this shape option and here you can see there is a frame duration. So if you increase this frame duration, you can see the longer uh, sparks here. So it depends on your situation. So if you increase the frame duration, then it will increase the size of this sparks here. So for time being, I will put up to like two. 
And now we'll just click on this play. So we got this nice parts. And also down, you can see there is an option like uh, start and end length. Uh, so suppose if you come to the first frame, and now you can see we can increase and decrease the length of this start. And also we can use this length of this end here. So if you zoom in and now you can see just we can increase and decrease the length of this particles from starting and ending. And but what the thing is we want to create the random length of this thing. So instead of this uniform, we can put it to like set variable varying. So just if you come down and for this end also, just I will put it to like set varying. So now we will get the random particles here. And now you can see it's looking more natural. And also if you want to split the particles here, so now all the things are going in the same directions. If I want to change the angle, so you can use this split option and enable split here. And now you can see if you go down, you can increase the duration so that you can see actual the particles are going to change the angle. And also it is going to split from one particle to another particles. So you can increase this and now we will click on this play. So see now we got this more random directions of these particles here. And also if you want to split more, you can use this splits per point. You can increase so that it will split more. So if you click on this play, so just see now it will split again. And now if you want to change the random motion of this uh, sparks here, if you select this like particle trail and if you come to this option like shape and if you come down, there is an option called like add positional noise. So we can add positional noise so that we will get the more random directions of these particles and we can increase and decrease this amplitude here. So just we can see now. So now we can increase the size of this uh, particles here. So like if you go to this shape option and we can decrease this. And also we will decrease this end here. And now we'll see this. So we got this parts and also we'll just decrease the intensity. So intensity is more. Uh, so like if I go to this look option and just I will decrease the intensity so it will look more orange color. So to look more natural we will come to this shape and just we can use this element size so just we will get this simulation here so just we play. So now we got this nice simulation here and also if you want to add the material for these particles uh, so if you select this and if you from top, you can see there is an option like quick setup. So if you select this and we can use this option like create material. So now it will create the material. Later in case, if you want to add the material, you can use this option. And now we will see uh, with this file here. So in order to do that, just we will just I will disconnect this for time being. And now we will match this both. So I will take an match node and just we will connect this and just we'll connect this here. And now we'll click on play. Okay, so just we need to enable this match here. Uh, so just I will enable. So I'll go back and just enable this match. And now we'll click on this play. So we got this simulation, but the thing is here, the sparks are generating in the starting frame. We don't want that. After some frames, the particles has to generate here. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called time shift. So if you select this time shift and we need to connect in between this particles and material. And now what the thing is, if you select this time shift and here you can see now, first of all, the particles are generating uh, at the first frame. So see now, now the particles are generating in the first frame. Now I want the particles to should be generate like after 20 frames or something. So if you select this time shift and here, if you select this frame and here we can type like minus 20 or something so that now the particles will gen start generate after the 20 frames here. So just if you see now, now see the particles will start generating after the 20 frames here. So in this way we can change the time of these uh, particles. So now if you go to the match, so I will go to the first frame and now if you click on this match and now we'll click on this play.
And now you see the particles has been generated after the 20 frames here. So now we will use a flipbook to see the proper simulation here. So just we'll go to the flipbook. And let's say just I will uh, generate up to like 50 frames or something. And now we'll just click on start here. And here we got this nice simulation. So in this way, we can add these parts to the file. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.